Hi, welcome to Contributor Tutorials. My name is Sean, and today I'm going to show you how to make a beauty edit. When retouching portraits for stock photography, whether your model is young or old, male or female, everyone can benefit from a little bit of a retouch. Now that's not to say that we're looking to alter the model's appearance or change the way they look. We're really just looking to polish the image and remove any distractions. I think this image works well. We have a really beautiful girl with lovely skin, but she does have a beauty, a couple beauty marks that could be seen as a distraction to potential buyers. We want to remove any hurdles from the buyer so all they see is an image that they love and want to buy. So I'm going to show you how we can improve this image and polish this portrait. The first thing that we need to do is make a copy of our background. So I'm going to drag that down to our new layers. And as you can see, that quickly makes a, a copy of the background. The next thing is to view the file at 100%. So I'm going to just zoom in at actual size, scroll to the area that we wish to address. And the reason that we do view the file at 100% is to ensure that the edits that we do do are seamless and that we are viewing them at actual size. Now, I'm going to address a couple of these larger areas first. And the tool that I'm going to use is the patch tool. I'm just going to grab that from my toolbox now. And what you do is make a selection around the area you wish to remove and you pull it to an area you wish to sample from. You can see that Photoshop gives you a little bit of a preview so it lets you know what textures and tonalities are, are coming into play when you position this. I'm going to let go there and hit Command D just to remove the selection. And as you can see, we've removed the mole and we've made a, a very seamless edit. We've kept skin texture in there and it looks really good. So I'm just going to move on to the the other marks here and again just making sure that we leave a little bit of area and space around the area we wish to replace and drag that to a, a, a source that we wish to sample from and I'm just going to do that a couple more times just to replace these areas here. Now we always want to make sure that we're keeping the tonality and the texture the same. When we don't I'll show you what can happen. I'm just going to select this area here and I'm just going to drag it up under her eye. As you can see, we picked up some of those fine lines under her eyes into the texture. Whenever you make a sample that you don't want to keep, just hit Command Z to undo it and then just drag your selection to a new source. I think that looks good. Now I know that we had a couple more spots, maybe one here on her forehead and just here on the bridge of her nose. And I think that looks pretty good. It looks like we've addressed most of the larger areas. Now I'm going to show you how to remove some of the smaller areas here. We could make a, a selection with our, our patch tool and drag that to a source area. And that does work fine. But I'm going to show you a quicker way of doing that, especially when we're looking at addressing multiple areas. And that's going to be the healing brush tool. Now you want to make sure you go up to your brush palette and make sure that you're spacing and, or your hardness is less than 25%. And as you can see, mine is set for zero, which is a preference of mine. Now, you do need to use your Option key or Alt, Alt key on a PC to click into an area you wish to sample from, and then you paint that sampled area into the area you wish to replace. So I'm going to do that again. I'm just going to Option click to sample an area here, and then I'm just going to paint that into the area I wish to replace. When you are looking at different textures, you always want to make a, a new sample. It doesn't take too long. You just hold down the Option key and click, or the Alt key and click on the PC. I'm going to replace a few of these areas down here. Spot under her lip there. And again, I'm just going to smooth out some of the texture here under her nose. There, I think that looks pretty good. Now the next step that we need to do when we are making a beauty edit is to reduce the circles under the eyes. We have done a tutorial for this before, so if you haven't seen it, make sure that you go to the Viewer Ideas YouTube page and look for that tutorial. I'm going to go through it re really quick, so I'm just going to grab my Clone Stamp tool, make sure my opacity and my flow is set for 30, and I'm just going to option click into an area that's a little bit brighter than the, the circles under the eye. And I'm just going to paint that lightness into the dark circles. And again, I'll just repeat that over here. Sometimes it takes a couple brushes to get the, the effect that you're looking for. 
but make sure that you don't go too far. You want to make sure that you are keeping it natural. I do think that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to zoom out and we're just going to view her face here in our screen. And I'm just going to preview the file before and after. And again, before and after. I think that looks really good. And you can see how just a couple minutes of retouching has really polished this portrait. Again, I'm just going to view this file at a full frame. And again, previewing it before and after. We could go in and spend a little bit more time polishing the skin, but I think this looks really good. So I'm just going to go to my drop down menu, flatten the image. Now we're ready to save this file and upload it to Veer. I hope this has been helpful and please check back for more tutorials. Take care.